Hey guys, instead of a normal project playtime video, today we're going to be doing tips, tricks, and bugs inside the game to make you just a little bit better. So let's get on to the first trick. So this is going to be our first trick. You see here, you might just think these are just normal, like you can practice on these and stuff, but no. Say I do this puzzle, okay? You don't see it at the end of this puzzle, but you will get the reward for it. Say I finish the puzzle. All right, so you don't see it, but in your top right, it will still give you that those tickets for that puzzle. So it will, this will count towards your tickets at the end of the game. You might not notice at first when you're doing it, but it does add up to your point tickets. I did, so while this bug or whatever, this glitch is still here, do it a lot, because it can really help you get lots of tickets to get perks really, really fast. All right, on to the next one. Okay, guys, so this is the next uh, trick right here. See that pile right there? It is a chance that you can actually land on that pile. You can get up here, and there's a little hole right here you can hide in from the monster. The monster cannot normally get up here, but if there's someone like Boxy Boo, they can easily just grab you down. So be careful doing this. All right, another one actually right here is you can roll onto these little platforms right here, and you can get some height with it. So let's see the monster's coming. You don't need to go fully around. You can just go down here and then you'll be fine. Okay, on to the next trick. Another one is right here. So what you want to do is you want to constantly keep scrolling to bunny hop. And you want to, it's a very hard thing to do. You just kind of do that. And at the right moment, you let go and you start bunny hopping uncontrollably. That will get you around the map really fast. Let's see if I can do it right now. All right, it's really hard to do this. All right, I can't really do it, but it's very hard. You need to really practice this one. On to the next trick. So guys, another trick right here you can do is you probably have seen me do it in my latest video. You can roll and then switch sides at the last second. So then you fake out the monster and they have no idea where you went. All right, so another one I think here is if I go this way. Actually, I think you might be able to. Also, another good thing is just hiding. When you're ever trying to, let's say the monster's chasing you and you get some good distance from it, you can crouch down into a corner and put your head inside of the wall. It will clip through the wall and you won't be able to be seen. Another trick is if we come over here. All right, we need to go to the other side and go to the train area. This can be this can work on other si either side, but what you want to do is you see that little pipe right there. You want to hit that pipe. So you want to roll. It's very it's quite you, you, it takes a couple tries. All right, let's try to do it real quick. And this is they might have passion actually. Hmm. Another thing you can do, you can just try to go that way. I think they might have passed this one. So it's, that's good for us. That's actually good. It's a good thing. I feel like I can do it, but I'm not I'm not doing it right. Oh yeah, I think they might have passed that one, so that one doesn't work anymore. Well, before if you were able to go on that pipe, you were able to roll and hit that pipe right there and land on it and be perfectly fine. And the monster just would not be able to get you. So that is really all the tricks that I know of for right now. There might be some ones that I have missed, but let's go on to the factory now. All right, guys, for this first glitch, let's say someone's in that hole right there, down in that pit. If you hit it at the right angle, you'll be able to actually pull them out of that pit from like right over here. So that is the first glitch that I know of right there. So let's go to the next one. Actually, the next one's right here. There's a little trick. If you pull, if you hang on to that one, it would go really fast to that side, which is a really useful trick if you just need to get some distance. Also, let's say I'm being chased by the monster. I want to fake him out. 
jump down here and just jump on this pipe right here. They will be able to get you, but it's a little way just to kind of get some distance. All right, let's just get out of that situation. All right, the next one will be... Let me just get some distance from this monster. Yeah, another one right here. So you can get your chase, be chased by the monster. You can just go down there immediately and just start bunny hopping. It's a really good way to get some distance. So if I'm correct, okay, yeah, right there. You get to that side. So let me just make my way here. All right. So basically, what we want to do here is let's say being chased by the monster, just grab up, and then if you do it correctly, you should be able to. Yep. You just kind of land right here, and now the monster cannot get you. You actually, I think you might be able to know. So in order to get back up, you just have to drop down and it will reset you right here. The thing you can do is you spam and jump. So if you spam that and start jumping as well at the same time, you can actually kind of like grab yourself up, which is really cool. It's a really good idea to do. So the one you might know of, so if you go up here, this is a very common one to juke out the monster. Also, pro tip, hearing um, like audio sounds is a very important thing in this game. So one is just you go right here and you can just kind of, let's say the monster's chasing you. You just kind of act like you're jumping, but then you go to the side, they jump down, and then you go back. One other thing is, let's say it's Boxy Boo, which it is. Every time you're going to a pipe and you're being chased by him, he will most likely, when you're going into that pipe or that little vent, he will use your arm to grab you back. So one thing you do is you can just kind of do that to fake out his arm, which is a really useful thing to do. Also, this is a very common one. You go up here and just kind of res your teammate like that. There might be some other ways, like right here, you can try to hide and do it. Here, maybe. Some other ones is... Oh, that, that was a little trick right there. That was, that was kind of cool. Alright, that's... I guess I just found a new trick, I guess. When you're going on the hand roll, you can kind of get some speed. You can also just kind of stick it in the wall, and then they can't really see you because of all the darkness. I think is when you are getting chased by the monster, one thing you can do is you can easily just fake him out. Or you can just go... Shoop, and then fake him out, try to like do that, and then pull the lever on them. Is a really good idea. You can also just land on these. You can kind of get on these things to just try to go through them and not be able to, have to get them in your way. One thing right here is since the monster needs to kind of crouch right here, you can kind of just keep going around about, just kind of dodge through them, everything. Hearing it again is a very important thing. For Boxy Boo, if you're playing Boxy Boo, that little music box sound means someone is by you and that you need to kind of run. The thing is, let's say you're being chased right here, you can get onto this trash bag and just go through there. Or let's say you're being chased by a monster, you just kind of do that. They get out, you get in, and then you're good. So let's see if you can do it right here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Oh, okay, no, he's friendly. Okay, so I, I can just pull this down. Well, I was gonna try and do it on him. All right, let's get to the train. I'm still trying to learn, but in jumping, it's very hard technique to learn. You just gotta hit it at the right times. Also, I think you can probably go on here, I think. You can go on these things, just to kind of get yourself away from the monster. But they still can't hit you if you're even on those. All right, well, on to the next one. So guys, a trick that I forgot to show you. It works with any stairs, you just kind of kind of spam uh, bunny hop, and you can go up them really fast. I just need it. I could do it right here, like that, you spam bunny hop. So another one I think is, you can actually land on these pipes, yeah you can land on these things, like a way just kind of tricking the monster out. Another one right over here is if you're being chased, go through here, the monster will be forced to either go that way, or keep trying to guess which one you're going to go to. You used to be able to... I don't know if you still can. But actually, you hit that one. Yep, there you go. 
And you just kind of do that. I don't really know why that would, that would help, but I guess it just kind of gets some distance. Check out the monster, maybe. Close the gate, obviously. The other one is, let's say you need to pull down the pipe, and you're just really trucking to get away from the monster. Jump down here, and just hold on that thing, and just kind of run around it. You're good. This next one only works if Huggy Wuggy is the killer. Because Huggy Wuggy doesn't really, can't really jump. Gonna go through there, and now you get some distance. You get some really major distance that will help you out. Another one is, I think, I don't know if you can do it. But you might be able to, if I find it. They're here, okay, yeah. I don't know if you can. I don't think you can, your arm can't reach that, okay. I think you can maybe just get that and just kind of just go upwards. Get away from the monster easily. Another one I think is, let's see if we come over here. We need to time this perfectly. And yep, we're up here now. I think if I do this correctly, yep, now we just kind of chill here and the monster cannot get us. monster now cannot get us. There's no possible way unless they're boxy boo. Come on here, you can just okay, miss that totally, but you probably just go you might just go down, jump down and just grab onto that and just escape easily. You see that's how you do it, but you need to do it a little bit faster. Alright, let's try and just get away from this monster. And I think I've gone some good distance. You can also just kind of just go through here. The monster needs to crouch down in these areas. Another one right here. So you run from the monster, you can just... If I did it correctly, you could. Yep, just kind of get across there, get some distance, and you're good. Huggy Wuggy or like Mommy Long Legs will probably need to go around or just use her arm. Get up. Another thing, you can try to just do that. That's a good one right there. Okay, let's say I get the monster down here. I cannot get up there. Okay, that's not gonna work. Okay, that did not work well. Okay, well, that kind of sucked. I think that is really all the tips and tricks that I really know. So that will have to be it for today's video, guys. I will see you in the... I'll probably see you later today because I'm going to post double today because I forgot to post tomorrow. Well, see you later. Peace.